The Devil Wears Prada. This was the movie picked after E.T. the very next day. This is all about Anne Hathaway's character uh, named Andy who starts working for this uh, what 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 was it a fashion magazine a fashion magazine yes she becomes the the assistant to Mer Meryl Streep's character uh, who who runs a New York fashion magazine and uh, you you're following her her journey through hell because as we all know Mer Meryl Streep in her movies can be a little bit what's the word insane and mean when she is picked to do those roles Meryl Streep is fantastic in this movie that that's a given Anne Hathaway is great in this movie but I am I'm gonna say that Emily Blunt was underrated she was underrated, and I think that this film is underrated because I don't hear a whole lot of people talking about it. I've seen this movie out when, when I've been hunting for years now, years. I never wanted to pay $5 for it new because, it, one, it's the Devil Wears Prada, and I, I was sitting there, I'm like, do I really need to sit through that? But then I found it for either $1, I can't remember what, whether I got this for $1 or free, so I, I thought for that, I'm going to give it a chance. At some point, I'll watch it, and it was last week. It's funny. It it it. It's a really interesting scene where Anne Hathaway or Andy ha has to get uh, Streep's, care Streep's Kids, the seventh Harry Potter book, when it hasn't even been uh, published yet. So now she has to find a way to get every... get, get it to them. So they they have this. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's a very interesting scene. I enjoyed the film for what it was. It's staying in the collection. The Devil Wears Prada, from me anyways, it gets a B. I enjoyed it for exactly what it was, and I'm definitely glad that I saw it now. Let's get into the next AFI movie reviews. I I still have a lot of reviews to get to. Uh, I think I still have reviews for Love in Winterland, Love on Iceland, also. Uh, some classic, a lot of classic movies on here. Uh, so let's get into the last of the AFI movie club movies, and then we, we'll talk about the rest of them next time.